Today, what I'm going to show you is how to create an unlimited number of topical maps based on the keywords, competition, and AdWords data from Google, along with how to automate the content outlines, the content itself, and how to quality control it. Now, this is all doable in one single click using Gemini and AI SEO. I've plugged in the prompts. I'm going to give you the template, I'm going to give you the SAP as well. You can see it's waiting for you right here. And let's just get straight into it. All right, so first place you're going to start is by getting AI Assist for Gemini. And this is basically going to link your API key, which is free. And I'll show you how to get that in a minute. Just copy and paste job. And you can plug that into Google Sheets so that you can link AI to Google Sheets and create your own tools. Plus with the template that I'm going to create today, you'll get access to that for free in this video. So from here, make sure you've installed it. Then you're going to go to a new Google Sheet. Just go to sheets.new. And from here, go to extensions, AI assist and set API key. We'll wait for that to load. And now you can see it pops up on the right hand side with AI assist for Gemini sheets, docs and forms. So you don't even have to use this just inside Google Sheets. You could use it in a Google Doc, that sort of thing, which is a pretty cool idea as well. And I'll come on to that in a minute. But basically from here, what you can do, you can grab your API key from Google AI Studio. As we can see, we can go to get API key. If you haven't signed up already, you can get a free account. As you can see right here, I am on the free plan with Gemini. So you don't need to pay for this. Now from here, go to get API key in the top left, click on create API key. So we'll select the project as you can see, and then we'll click on create API key in existing project. We'll generate the API key, takes about a minute, and then we can click on copy and copy the API key. Go to our Google sheet, change it. I'm just gonna put this in as an example. I'll delete it after the video. We can hit save on that. And now we've linked our API key to Gemini, easy stuff. Now what we're gonna do, glad you asked. So with this API key plugged into Google Sheets using Gemini, we've got a list of functions that we can actually use, right? So there's all sorts of stuff you can do here. Like you can translate, you can summarize, you can extract, you can even use vision so you can give it images and then it can generate AI responses based on images. And this is extremely powerful. And I'm gonna show you exactly how you can automate, for example, like topical authority, topical maps using this process. So from here, what we can do is we can, for example, automate topical maps, as you can see right here. So if we put in our keyword, it will generate a topical map. And you can see the prompt here, give me 30 semantically relevant but unique topics under the niche, each topic must be relevant, etc. It's got a prompt for the topical map, and then it uses a keyword in cell A2 to automate that. And then if let's say you're doing this for multiple websites and multiple clients, you can just drag the keywords and the formulas down. But either way, you've got a nice little topical map, as you can see right here, we've got the keyword, we've got the categories, and we have the topical map. So the categories for each relevant section of the topical map, easy stuff. Now, why is it important to have a topical map? It helps you map out and plan what content you need to create around your website and what pages and what categories you need to have to demonstrate expertise to Google. Let's take a great example of topical authority right here. So if we look, for example, at M cakesbymk.com, you can see they've grown in the last year from 8,000 traffic back in August, 2023 to a peak of 396,000 traffic using the same process. How do they do it? They cover pretty much every single thing they could cover relevant to their niche. For example, cake pops, orange cake, everything is related to cake and cake recipes. And that's exactly what you can do with the Gemini topical authority machine. You can figure out, okay, what categories to create and then what pages do I need to create under each category, as you can see right here. All right, so there's a category, number one, online reputation repair. And then you've got the pages that you would create underneath each category. Now that is just one way you can automate topical maps. And I'm gonna show you three different ways. Plus I'm gonna show you how afterwards you can automate the content outline, the content itself, and a bunch of other stuff inside this sheet. Now, there was another top authority machine that I created earlier this week, but the problem is it's got a monthly usage limit. So I will give you access to this as well, but if you use it a lot, like you can see I did here, then it's gonna become a problem. Now let's keep going. So I will give you access to this tool, but I don't recommend it because with the API key method instead, you can have unlimited usage. You don't need to worry about anything. So the next method is you can actually take a topical map based on your competitor site map, right? Now this is an amazing way to look at competitors who's doing very well and then reverse engineer their success and what sort of pages they had to create to achieve top core authority with Google and the rankings. So you can see, for example, I just pasted in the site map of a random website. I didn't even format it as you can see right here. And then it creates a top map based on that. 
So for example, it's organizer pages inside the sitemap of our competitors using organize the categories, organize the pages underneath, as you can see right here. So for example, parrots, bird behavior, bird species, etc. This is all compared to sitemap. How do you get a website sitemap? Usually what you can do is you can go to the website and sitemap underscore index dot XML, as you can see right here. Then you would go to the relevant post section. You can just highlight and select all and then plug that into this cell right here. If we copy the sitemap from another site, it's going to automate based on that. So for example, the link building section, it's got the category and then all the relevant pages to insert underneath that category. Same for example, for on-page SEO is organize all the pages from our competitor into a category and pages underneath. Pretty nice. The next method of creating top one maps so you can automate easily with one click is this method right here. You can take the data that Google already has from Google AdWords and then plug that into a Google sheet. So if we go over here, we'll click on ads.google.com. We'll put in the relevant keyword and topic. Let's say, for example, jerk chicken. I know some of our subscribers have content in the jerk chicken niche. And then from here, we can grab all the keywords. We can copy those by going to copy and bear in mind, AdWords, Google AdWords keyword planner is free. And then we can get free access to that using this link right here. Once we've typed in the relevant niche or topic that you want to generate keywords around, we can hit enter. And what that will do is generate an automatic topical map based on the keywords here. Now, one of the things that I would say right here is a lot of SEO agencies are out there charging $500, $1,000 and upwards for topical maps. You can generate one for free using the process right here. And then you know exactly how to organize your website. Now it does require some common sense and you might use a combination of all three of these topical maps, right? So you might want to look through this topical map that's generated right here and go, some of these topics are relevant. Some of them are not relevant, or I'm just going to create one silo right here. I'm not going to create them all. You don't have to create all the silos inside this topical map, but essentially this will save you a lot of time. It will save you money. It's easy to automate and you can generate topical maps in three different ways for free in one single click. Pretty nice if you ask me. And so you can see it's generated the jerk chicken topical map. We've got, for example, preparation, location of businesses, regional and cultural variations and styles, etc. Now let's talk about content creation. You can actually automate the content creation inside this sheet as well. So we can plug in a keyword that we got from earlier. So let's take, for example, the keyword, are backlinks still important, which is a page recommended inside our topple maps. We'll put that inside column A, and you can do this for multiple pages. You don't have to do it for just one. But essentially, you can automate the content outline, which will then generate part one of the content and part two. Why do we create two separate parts of content? Because if you just create the content in one single prompt, it's not going to be in depth or comprehensive enough to cover everything that you should do inside a high quality article for this topic. Bear in mind as well, like I say, you could have multiple keywords inside column A, drag down the formulas from column B, C, and D and then you can generate content for as many pages as you want using this process. And what you can see here is using my prompt, which basically says SEO keyword equals, and then it takes a keyword from column A2, give me entities, keywords, and LSIs relevant to the keyword, plus a short user intent focused outline for my keyword, and it generates the outline right there. Pretty nice. It's got the entities inside there, it's got the keywords, it's got the user intent focused outline. Bear in mind, a lot of tools you would pay good money for a good content outline. This does it for free and it outlines it for you. Now from here is also generate the content. And this is not just AI spammy trash. You can see that the content itself is still useful, right? So for example, now you can see here that it's formatted in markdown format. So what you can do is you can take the content from Gemini that's been generated in column C and D. We can go into markdown live preview. Link is inside the spreadsheet. So you can see right here, we can paste that in and then you can see the content has been generated on the right-hand side here, right? Now, if we read the content, let's see how well it's written and whether it's written better than your average human writer. So for example, it says, are backlinks still a big deal in 2023? You bet they are. They're like the fuel that keeps your website engine running smoothly and helps you get noticed on Google. If you ask me, that's quite an interesting introduction and it's better than most writers you're gonna hire online. Then it comes on to the next section, which is, Backlinks are those little links that point to your website from other websites. They're like recommendations or votes of confidence from other websites saying, hey, this website's cool, check it out, right? Feels very humanized in terms of the way the content is created. It's quite interesting. And for a first draft, pretty good if you ask me. Now, what you can also do 
I don't recommend taking the content that you get right here and publishing it straight online. What you want to do first is run it through this SEO manual quality control checklist, as you can see, and it's just a really nice, smooth, quick process for taking the rough draft that you have from Gemini and then turning it into something absolutely magical. So it's pretty easy and simple to do. Now, essentially, you know how to automate topical maps for free. You save thousands of dollars, you generate it in one click. It's all relevant to your comp competition or the keyword data that Google gives you or the keyword data based on your niche. The other thing here as well is that you can generate the content outline, the content, and you know exactly how to quality control it too. Can you generate it for more keywords at one time? Absolutely. Just insert more keywords into column A and then drag down the formulas from column B, C, and D. Now, one thing I want to check as well is how to use it inside Google Docs. I've never tested this. So if we go to extensions, then we'll go to AI Assist. We can click on open and hopefully it's still got API key that we inserted in earlier. Let's have a look. Yeah, so you can see it's good to go right here. You can actually create content directly inside AI Assist, as you can see. I would recommend using the prompts that I gave you earlier because they're a lot more powerful and tested by me and they rank really well. Plus it uses entities and that sort of thing. But you can see it's so easy to do. So that's basically it. Simple as that. Just to recap, here's how to use the free Gemini AI topical authority machine. So you're gonna copy the link right here. And that makes a copy of the spreadsheet I've shown you today with all the relevant sheets and formulas. Then you're gonna install AI Assist for Gemini, which is completely free. Then you're gonna get your API key, which you can generate directly in Google AI Studio. And then once you've created the actual content, use the checklist that is inside this SP right here. So thanks so much for watching. What I'm actually gonna do is I will take the SP from today and I will plug that into my free SEO course. The link's in the comments and description. If we scroll to the topical map section, as you can see right here, it's gonna be called Gemini AI Assist. And this tool right here can automate topical maps. It can automate keyword research. It can automate content outlines and it can also automate content creation all for free. And I've shown you exactly how to do it today. So thanks so much for watching. The link to the free course is inside the comments and description. If you want to learn how we take websites from zero to 145,000 business a month and generate thousands of dollars in sales on autopilot, feel free to book in a one-to-one -one SEO strategy session where we'll give you an SEO domination plan. You'll discover the secrets of link building. We'll answer any questions that you have and you'll learn how to outrank your competitors plus the best link building strategies for your website to get more leads, traffic, and sales. Feel free to book that in. Links in the comments and description. Appreciate you watching. Bye-bye.